The war in Gaza has impacted Egypt in two main ways. One has been the risk of mass displacement uh, of the Palestinian population. This has been a big fear uh, for the Egyptians. They really, from the beginning of the Israeli operations in Gaza, they were really afraid that Israel would turn the situation into an opportunity to expel uh, the Palestinian population from Gaza uh, and to turn this effectively into an Egyptian problem. The other way that Egypt has really been impacted by uh, the war uh, in Gaza has been the economic situation. Egypt has really suffered in terms of its uh, tourism industry and also the Suez Canal traffic. So Egypt has really been, uh, in a way, impacted significantly on both the political security but also on the economic level. So what we have seen in the past few days after Israel has taken over the Palestinian side of the Rafah uh, border crossing is that Egypt has become particularly nervous about this situation, particularly because the presence of Israel on that side of the border represents, from the Egyptian perspective, a violation of the 1979 peace treaty and its uh, annexes. One of the consequences of the situation has been for Egypt to really step up its response uh, to Israeli moves uh, and the perceived Israeli unilateral moves in Gaza. And uh, by joining the ICJ lawsuit moved by uh, South Africa, uh, Egypt is really trying to put up pressure on Israel to really signal that it stands with the Palestinian population and it will not accept uh, Israel's uh, decisions and measures in Gaza passively. In a way, Egypt has really tried to turn the situation of weakness into a potential uh, opportunity, almost a strength uh, for itself. The way it has done it, it has been by building an international consensus behind its rejection of mass displacement of the Palestinians into the Sinai Peninsula. The other way has been by uh, leveraging uh, the risk uh, of instability that this situation has created in Egypt vis-à-vis uh, -vis its Western interlocutors and particularly international institutions. Indeed, we've seen over the past few weeks Egypt receive a significant amount of uh, external loans and credits from the IMF, from the EU, but also from its Gulf partners, particularly the UAE. I would say right now, for Egypt, there are two important things uh, that need to be done. One, of course, is a ceasefire in Gaza, which is uh, extremely important. Uh, and at the same time, it's important uh, at this specific moment with what is happening in Rafah, that the international community remind Israel that mass displacement of the Palestinian population remains a red line that Israel should not cross. The other important part of the puzzle is also the reforms and the measures that the IMF, the EU in particular, uh, will ask Egypt to implement in return for the money they've given. And it's right now extremely important to uh, focus on political and economic reform. Political reform means uh, introducing more guarantees for the civil society and opposition and its, their ability to organize. And the economic reform means in particular creating a level playing field between state and army-owned companies and the private sector. So giving more support to the private sector so that Egypt's economy becomes more resilient and sustainable in the long term.